what we do. I'm sure it will get better, but how much better it will get? It will never be back to the room. Oh, never. make him stop doing that. For my children, they won't be able to... One really Irish girl, a daughter, is about to head off to Australia, you know, joining the thousands of Irish emigrants. He never does that until I put the camera on him and he starts to trace his tail. Unemployment in Ireland is above 14%. Clancy and her husband, a bar owner, have two other kids to put through college. From now on, she says, there'll be no more holidays. Ireland's beginning its second year of austerity. There have been tax rises, wage freezes, layoffs, and more besides. This is supervised by the so-called Troika, the European Commission, the European Central Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. These are the bodies that bailed out Ireland after the property bubble burst and its banks collapsed. The other day, the Troika dropped by for a routine check on Ireland's progress, and at a press conference, delivered no. a report. No, no, the, the, the Irish economy's performance... You're not is, supposed is to true that. Uh, the growth coming from net export is, is, is very large, the contribution is very large. Uh, I'm not suggesting that you don't have yet major challenges, that is my opening statement, but you also have results here. That is Van Zeke, the European Commission. The Troika says it's pleased that Ireland's meeting its targets in cutting its once yawning deficit. Many Irish take no pleasure in receiving this pat on the back. As journalist Vincent Brown made clear at the same press conference. Sorry, this, isn't good. this isn't good enough. Sorry. This isn't good enough. You people are intervening in 